In a previous video, we showed a corner detection design built using blocks from Vision HDL Toolbox, which provides hardware streaming architectures for video and image processing applications. The goal of using Vision HDL Toolbox is to take our design to hardware, so now we will show how to do that using the Computer Vision System Toolbox support package for Xilinx Zinc based hardware. This is a hardware support package that you can download if you have Computer Vision System Toolbox. To find it, just go to mathworks.com slash hardware dash support. What this provides is essentially the board and system level context to target our design to the FPGA fabric running on it so that it can process live HDMI video streams from the camera connected to the FMC HDMI card. To take our design through this hardware support package will require a couple modifications that I'll highlight as we go. But the approach I'm going to use is probably a little different because I want to show how to use the Simulink template that ships with this support package. It has all the infrastructure necessary to be able to just include your algorithm into it and, and then target the hardware. So to get started, just create a new Simulink model from the templates available, and the hardware support package has its own category here. For our design, we want the RGB HDL pixel streaming template. And it brings it up with some nice instructions to walk you through the process, which is what we'll do here. So first, the source area gives you the option of using the multimedia inputs, which in our corner detection design were some large images, or the live video stream from the hardware, which is what we'll use here. And then there's an image resizer you can use to get varying sized images to the size that the hardware is expecting. The next area is the frame to pixels conversion, which also generates the control signals for the hardware. Here it's just the Vision HDL toolbox frame to pixels block, and then one of the modifications we had to make is to split our bust signals into individual signals to go onto the hardware. When we generate the HDL code, we'll be using the IP core generation workflow, which currently requires buses to be split to individual signals. So you see that here with the control signal bus and the RGB input. This constraint will be lifted in an upcoming release. Managing the pixel control signal bus is made easier with Vision HDL Toolbox's pixel control bus creator and the selector. And often the RGB signals will be processed separately in the design anyway. And then on the other side of the algorithm, these signals are bussed back together before the pixel to frame block, which feeds our video display. Now for the algorithm area in the middle. And this is where our design will go. So for this demonstration, I'll copy in the design we made. Again, we don't have to do it that way. We could have either just created the design initially within this template, or modify the design that we created to break up the buses and set all the proper targeting settings for the HSP, which we will set in the HDL Workflow Advisor. But first we want to make sure that our FPGA synthesis tool is on our path, so we'll use the HDL setup toolpath command for that, and then we can bring up the HDL Workflow Advisor. So as I mentioned, we want to use the IP core generation workflow and we'll be targeting the ZC706 FMC HDMI CAM platform. And notice when we set the workflow to IP core generation that it added step 1.2, set target interface. And this is one area where the hardware support package really makes our life easier, um, where it sets up the target platform interface pull-down choices. Since we've conveniently named our ports with the same names, we can just quickly go down and map them. And we'll let the FPGA run free of any blocking from the software. And then at this point, if you want to change any of the code gen settings like Verilog versus VHDL or optimization settings, you can. But we'll just go right down to program the FPGA and run everything to there. Now, this takes a while to run. I think it's about 45 minutes in this case before we have something on the hardware. And so this is why we want to verify it well in Simulink first. And again, we could have done this all directly from our original corner detection design, but I wanted to show off how easy the Simulink template makes it easy to set up and structure things for targeting the HSP. So as HDL Coder generates the VHDL in this case, and we will greatly shorten that process for the video and cut to the design running on the hardware. So here you see the board, and we have an overhead camera set up in our office here. Notice that we have distinct colors for the background and foreground objects. And this is to help our camera because it's just a GoPro camera uh, where we don't have the ability to manually adjust the white balance to help our corner detection algorithm. 
And the other thing you'll notice is that we change the color of our corner overlays in the display, and that's just because this color shows up better when shooting a monitor with a camera. Uh, but you can see it working for different types of objects with different color contrasts, and it's running in real time. And we also have it set up to bring the video back into the Simulink model so we can see the streaming video directly in our model. So now we've taken our corner detection example, modified it a little bit, and built it and tested it in real hardware. And that's made much easier with the Computer Vision System Toolbox support package for Xilinx Zinc-based hardware.